Hey, let me confirm if you can see me. Don't talk again. No. I'm going live. Just let me know. Just check on my magnifying page if you can see me. Welcome everyone. Um, this is um, Monday Morning Matters. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. I'm going to come out live. Um, I just want some more people to just come up on live online and then we'll be able to talk on what we have today. All right? What we have today. Are you aware that 70% of pastors constantly fight depression and burnout for the frustration experienced as a result of ministry workload, discouragement, and pressure? We help leaders grow healthy churches. We are excellent at what we do, and we are fast becoming the best of the very best. MagnaCraft Consulting is set up to help both small and large-sized churches become healthier by using proven diagnostics tools, effective retention strategies. We give the right and appropriate and professional advice. We we are the certified church consultants with the Society of Church Consulting in the United States of America. Trust us to help you grow. Don't wait till it's too late. You will be glad you did. Call us now on 0802-324-2258. Email contact at magnacraftconsulting.com or magnacraftconsulting at gmail.com. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Magnacraft Limited. Magnacraft Consulting. Doing church. God. Church consultation? Wow, most definitely yes. Just as you should see your primary care physician once a year, you should have a church consultation once a year. Churches are organisms that change, age, they have health concerns, and in some cases, die. Church consultations help you stay strong and healthy. It helps you avoid the painful and unhealthy changes that occur over time. Church consultants know where to look, the question to ask, and will provide appropriate solutions for health issues. MagnaCraft Consulting helps you lead from your strengths, assist you in identifying and improving your weaknesses, examine all ministry areas for strength, weaknesses, opportunities, including potential threats, provide you with honest feedback, diagnosis, analysis, and actionable solutions. If you want to know more, call us and we'll sit down with you and bring out our ministry stethoscope. Check out our services at our website, www.magnocraftconsulting.com. Get the right and appropriate diagnosis, prescriptions, and services from a certified church consultant. Contact us now on 0802-324-2258. Email contact at magnacraftconsulting.com, magnacraftconsulting at gmail.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Magnacraft Limited. Magnacraft Consulting, doing church God's way. I'm just trying to wait for some people to hook up. This is Monday Morning Matters Live. Monday Morning Matters Live. And we're going to hook up in the next 10, 15 minutes to be able to wrap up what we have to, to say today. Okay? 
This is Monday Morning Matters. Monday Morning Matters. And Monday Morning Matters is sponsored by uh, Magnicraft Consulting. Magnicraft Consulting Limited is a firm, it's a church consulting firm to help churches grow healthy. And um, my name is Ni Dumade, your certified church consultant. Um, I'm a certified church consultant from the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S. And my name is Ni Dumade, your certified church consultant. Okay? So, um, today's topic will be resources. Resources. Today's topic will be resources. Resources. Okay? Resources. And as I've said, my name is Ni Dumade, and of course, I'm the CEO of Magnicraft Consulting Limited. Um, before now, I've done quite a lot of videos on a lot of the how to lead and manage a virtual church. Yesterday, we had a digital um, Easter service in my house, and um, it was real fun. Um, it was not like the traditional church, but at least we, it's better to have that than not to have any Easter celebration at all. So follow me on my um, pages on Facebook, on Twitter, um, YouTube. You're going to get some resources there. If you don't see any resource there, just private chat me. You need a help. You need a template. You need some advice. Reach out to me through any of those channels, and I'll be glad today. So today is Monday Morning Matters, and I want to really encourage all the pastors out there that we have a post-COVID-19 era where the real work will start. So the challenge we are facing right now, three things I want to just... Um, advice us is avoid burnout now because if we are burnout out now when the COVID-19 is over how are we going to march our church forward alright, have a plan right now, what are you going to do to get back to the traditional church or get your people back to church as it should be, then let's leverage on collaboration churches around an area can come together to make sure that they reach out to their communities in that place, so um, I want to say Jesus loves you, and there's no terms or conditions attached to it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth uh, in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, today is one of my mentors, my pastor's birthday. I love him so much because he's dear to me and my family. Reverend Sam Oyes, please, my friends, help me celebrate him. Reach out to him on his Facebook account, Twitter. Today is for double celebration for that, for that matter. It's his 19th wedding anniversary. 19, my God, almost <laughs> two decades. <laughs> Staying with one wife, the love of his youth. I want us to celebrate my mentor, my pastor. Today is his birthday, and it's also his wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary. So happy Easter to everyone. I'm saying that from the bottom of my, my heart. I know we didn't have... Is that the way we want it, want it to be, but I know that someday we're going to meet again in our churches and celebrate Easter as it should again. So like my page on, on, on Facebook, Magrika Consulting, on Twitter, and the likes, you're going to see quite a lot of uh, resources there, small groups, how to read, the, read your books, how to study the Bible, uh, using Bible softwares. Um, quite a lot of things I've shared on my YouTube, Facebook, and um, Instagram accounts. You can get there and get so much you can get from those these things. So I'm going to hit the ball rolling. Why do we have Monday Morning Matters? It's for, to help our churches na uh, correct the systemic imbalances so that they can be healthy. Because the philosophy of mine is that when the church is healthy, there's, there's nothing stopping that church. If all the systems that should make a church a church is making that church a church, then you can talk about growth, you can talk about peak performance, you can talk about ex all kinds of expression. Okay? All kinds of expression. And today we're going to talk on one of the um, purposes or systems that a church should have that must be in place. All these 12 things must be balanced. All right, the top side is the church health uh, function, which is prayer, ministry, evangelism, discipleship, fellowship, and worship. And the top side is the organizational health. And of course, the first side is the Act of Apostles, chapter 2, where you could see that when they had all those things 
in place, the church began to grow. And in Acts chapter 6, they now started putting leaders, structure, strategy, outreach, going to Samaria, um, you know, a lot of things. So but today, we're going to talk on resources. That's the bottom side of the fishbone diagram, resources, resources, resources. And you can tell me, uh, you can say it again, that to preach the gospel, it is expensive. We are in a digital world right now. Can we have more churches sponsor the gospel, put some money behind the gospel to push it um, through the Nick and Crane of the of the world, all right. There are still about 3.2 billion people who have not been who have not heard the name Jesus, who have not been rich with the gospel. So let's see how we can mop up our resources to make sure that the gospel is preached to every part of this world. And that's when the end will come. A lot of things have been have been shared on on social media. Uh, Extatology, the end times, the end of end of days, you know. Uh, but the, the thing is that there is a book that I will want to um, recommend. Is it called the Shepherd Staff? I believe that every pastor should have this. It's a good reference book that I have. Um, but but I'm I'm doing a survey for pastors, and uh, if you check on my page, you will see a survey link. If you do that survey, you're going to get a soft copy of this resource book, the Shepherd Staff, and two other books. And, of course, I'm going to have a pre-training, which will be done for um, our, our, all the leaders that fill up the survey for a comeback effect after the post-COVID-19 um, post, um, um, era. All right? Post-COVID-19 era. So please keep that board. I need to hear more from you on what is happening so that we can because to be candid COVID-19 has exposed a lot of things uh, a lot of unhealthy things in our churches and you see when you have um, so many issues you have a, a heart problem high BP high BP you have um, um, migraine you have um, a kidney problem you see, there's a, major, there's a major organ that you need to start from. Maybe it's a heart problem from there, you go to kidney, and then you begin to resolve. You can't resolve all problems all at once. That's going to weigh you down, weigh you down. So resources is what we're going to talk today. And let's read the Bible quickly. In Luke chapter 14, verse 27 to 32, I'm going to just emphasize on some verses. In verse 27, it says, And whosoever doth not bear his cross... And come after me cannot be my disciple. So to become Jesus' disciple, you have to bear his cross. You have to be responsible. So God will not give you resources until you are responsible by bearing his cross and following after him and become his disciple. Verse 28 says, For which of you intended to build a tower, seated not down. That seated is a present continuous tense. It's not something you just sit only once. You must always come back to sitting down first and keep on counting. Count it. Yeah, you know me, I'm a King James person, but I will let you, I will always explain to you the understanding behind the scripture. So counted not, counted the cost. That you must continue constantly count the cost, whether you have sufficient to finish it. So whatever you are, a time of planning to sit down with whatever resources you have, you must first of all sit down, count the cost, and find out if you are able to finish the goal, finish the objective, carry out the mission of the church. Verse 29 of Luke chapter 14 says, Less happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold 